In plate tectonics, we are looking at processes that are changing Earth's surficial appearance. And this is primarily the location of continents and the location and size of ocean basins. Now, the last, or one of the last pieces of evidence that came in that solidified plate tectonic theory is magnetic banding of the sea floor. So, when we look at this image, we have a mid-ocean ridge. At our mid-ocean ridge, we have a divergent motion, meaning the two plates are pulling apart in terms of their relative motion with each other. Into the space where they're pulling apart, we have a mantle upwelling with decompression melting that's creating a magma and lava when it extrudes onto the ocean floor. Now, the interesting thing is that when materials are really hot, say over a thousand degrees, any minerals that are forming that are normally magnetic at ambient temperatures have not yet locked in magnetism. They have to cool through what's known as the Curie point to become magnetic. Once those minerals cool through the Curie point, they become magnetic and they line up with Earth, Earth's magnetic field. So the magnetic north in the crystal points to north, magnetic south points to south. Now, what has been observed in this magnetic data is that what we have on the Earth today, where magnetic north is at the geographic north pole, magnetic south is at the geographic south pole, has not always been the case in the past. That Earth goes through what's known as magnetic reversals. So magnetic north at the top of the planet and magnetic south at the bottom of the planet, as they're aligned today, switch. Now it's not that the Earth flips over. The Earth itself does not move. But what happens is our magnetic field reverses and the magnetic poles switch. Now this is something that does not happen at a regular interval so it's from what we can tell spontaneous and it's not where the magnetic poles are kind of mo moving really slowly across the planet. They go from the top and bottom of the planet and in a geologic wink switch sort of instantly. The process that is causing this to occur geologists do not yet know. So we know magnetic reversals happen because they're, they're recorded in uh, magnetic crystals in igneous rocks in the ocean floor, magnetic crystals in sedimentary rocks that we found all across the planet. But the process that's causing it to occur, we're not sure of. So what we see in the ocean floor are these stripes in magnetic anomalies where the colored in stripes that are kind of orangey colored have the same magnetic alignment we have today, magnetic north at the top of the planet, magnetic south at the bottom of the planet, if you will, whereas the white stripes are reverse, where magnetic south is at the top of the planet, magnetic north is at the bottom of the planet. Now, if you were in a submarine at the bottom of the ocean, looking at the ocean floor, you would not see this striping. This is created uh, by data collection on the magnetism of the ocean floor. So it wouldn't look like a tiger down at the bottom of the ocean. This is created by magnetic analysis. But what this has allowed us to do is look at the plates on either side of the mid-ocean ridge, and we have found symmetry in the magnetic banding on each side. And what has been concluded is that this is not uh, just a coincidence that each side looks the same in terms of its symmetry. We have where the magnetic stripe was forming together in the past, it has spread apart over time, and as more magnetic reversals have happened, we see this alternation between the dark and light colored bands in a symmetric pattern on each side of the ridge. You can use this data, uh, and you potentially would in a intro geology lab, to calculate the rate of spreading along the mid-ocean ridge over time. So magnetic banding is something that's very important. It was only really discovered and analyzed in the 1960s, uh, so not that long ago, to solidify plate tectonic theory and sort of once and for all prove that the Earth is a very dynamic and changing planet because before plate tectonics it was thought that the Earth was more static, that our continents were fixed in place, they were not moving the way they look today, the position that they are is how they've always been in the past. And instead, uh, with plate tectonics, we know that's not true, that North America has had a very uh, dynamic and different 
geographic location in the past. For instance, uh, in Illinois, we were once uh, in the tropics uh, south of the equator. So we have a different view of the Earth today since plate tectonics theory was solidified mainly with magnetic banding of the seafloor as its last piece of evidence uh, than geologists and scientists had for hundreds of years prior to that. So magnetic banding of the seafloor is something you definitely want to be familiar with when going into an intro geology lab on plate tectonics.